So it entirely notes trigonometry. Trigonometry. So last Friday's lecture was a part of trigonometry. This is just trigonometry in general. Now before we get into trigonometry, let's define one word. An acute angle. Any angle that is less than 90 degrees, you want to write that down. Even though you know it, let's, let's super review it because I'll be saying acute angle often while we're doing trigonometry. You guys know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and write it, Jason. Anything that is near or touching something else in geometry. An adjacent side to an angle is a side that is touching the angle. In geometry, an adjacent side to an angle is a side that is touching the angle. A ratio of the lengths of two sides of a right triangle. Trigonometric. Trigonometric. A ratio of the lengths of two sides of a right triangle. Go ahead and draw this situation here. Go ahead and draw this right triangle here, if you would. And go ahead and write these statements down. So we're going to write acute angles. Go ahead and list the, the triangle the way you see it, because I want to discuss some of the parts that are necessary to understand it before we start uh, doing trigonometric problems and, and equations. So go ahead and take, it, take some time to copy everything you see on this board here. Right, so this would be acute angles. We're going to list them right now, acute angles. And then all these statements, side opposite angle A, all that. I'm going to give you about a minute to copy everything down. All right. Everyone ready? Acute angles are angles that are less than 90 degrees. So in the picture of the right triangle we just drew here, what would be the acute angles? Someone besides me here because I kind of depend on her a lot for the warm-up. What are the acute angles in this right triangle? Somebody. P H Q. Okay, now you, what you're stating are the sides. I don't talk about angles here. Notice. Those are three angles. I want to just know the acute. This is not an acute angle. Look at that's 90 degrees. So acute means less than 90 degrees. What would be the two acute angles for Lona Perez and Lona? Angle C would be definitely one of them. So go to write angle C here. What would be the other one, Ms. Perez? So angle C and angle A are the acute angle. You with me, Flynn? Okay, so these two are less than 90. Look at Okay? That's going to be important when we do trigonometry. Now, how about the side opposite angle A? Right here. So let me spot out angle A. Here we go. Here's angle A. What side is opposite angle A? What side? One more time. I'm asking side. Side Q, huh? Side Q. Got to put that. That's opposite angle A. Okay. 
what side is opposite angle B, Mejia? Right, so here's angle B, that's the right angle. The hypotenuse H is actually opposite angle B. Go ahead and put that for me. Right below. You with me, Scotus? Okay. What side is opposite angle C for lower than bonus? Nice. Side P. Right, huh? Now the word adjacent, we just uh, we just defined about five minutes ago, right? Adjacent means a side that is near or touching something else. In geometry, an adjacent side to an angle is a side that is touching the angle. So what is a side that's adjacent to angle A, but it's not the hypotenuse? That's the answer to your question again. So here's angle A. What side is touching angle A that's not the hypotenuse? Side P, huh? Exactly. You see, it's, there's actually two sides touching angle A. It's this side and this side are touching angle A, but I want the one that's not the hypotenuse when I ask for the adjacent side. Always the one that's not the hypotenuse. Remember that. Right. And you know, that's a good question you're asking earlier. So I trust that clears it up. How about the side adjacent to angle B, somebody? And P in this case, uh, Q and P, because many of those are hypotenuses. Hold on, what's the side adjacent to angle C? But we don't want the hypotenuse, so we'll just stay with Q. Good. Cool. Okay, there's three ratios in um, trigonometry, three main ratios. Uh, and we use a memory device that you saw in warm up today that I want to review. I want to write the word SOKATOA. Yeah, yeah, if you want. But you already know this, I'm just going to review it at this point. You can go on to your assignment if you want. Because you already know this. Now, it sounds like a Japanese word, like something you dip your sushi into, Sokotoa. But it's just a made up word that enables you to memorize the three ratios, which is sine, go ahead and write this down, sine, cosine, and tangent. The rest of the letters mean this. The sine ratio is always the side opposite. We'll put OPP for opposite over HYP for hypotenuse. I'm not going to write it all out. Opposite over hypotenuse. Now you and I, we just talked about sides that are opposite other angles. And we understand what that means now. Look at the cosine. The cosine is adjacent. I'm going to put ADJ for adjacent. We, don't, we know what an adjacent side is. We just discussed that right now in the previous slide. The cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. I'll just abbreviate again. And then tangent is opposite OPP over adjacent. I'm going to copy that down. So here, I mean, you know I mean? okay. the sign, we abbreviate the sign is always opposite over hypotenuse. See, that's what the SOH means. Sine is equal opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine right here, the cosine is equal to adjacent ADJ over hypotenuse. And then last but not least, the tangent. Tangent, tan for short, is equal to opposite 
over adjacent. That's what those mean. Sokotoa really means that, those three equations, depending on which ratio you're going to use. Go ahead and copy that down. Give you some time there. So go ahead and write down example one here. Go ahead and copy that down. I'll give you a few minutes. So let's find the sine of the acute angle. Notice that. What are the two acute angles here? Flores, or Colon, or Perez? Can you guys name me the two, two acute angles? You guys agree with her? Are those the acute angles? Yeah, because they're the ones that are less than 90. So I'm, I'm just highlighting them on the arc. Go ahead and do that with me. So what we're going to do is we'll find the sine, go ahead and do this with me, sine of R, the cosine of R, and the tangent of R. It's always of the acute angles only. Whenever you do trigonometry, we always do it with acute angles, never with the right angle. It's only with the two acute angles. Yes, we can. But so not only that, we're going to find the sine of S, cosine of S, tangent of S, too. So the sine of S, cosine of S, tangent of S. I'm going to color code on here for our discussion. So looking at this angle R, what is the sine ratio? What over what? According to Sokotoa. Opposite over hypotenuse. So looking at angle R, what side is opposite over R? Opposite from angle R? 12. Florence, are you with me? See how 12 is opposite angle R? Look at it. The sine of R is at 12 over hypotenuse. Huh? Opposite over hypotenuse. So 12 over 13. You guys with me? Let me round that to the nearest thousand. 12 divided by 13. So 12 divided by 13. Nice. 0.923. Cool. So I'm going to approximate 0.923. All right. Cosine of R. Tell them besides Perez, what's the cosine ratio? One over what? Nice. So angle R, what's the side that's adjacent to angle R that's not the hypotenuse? What side is adjacent to angle R? It'd be five. There's five. Over hypotenuse is 13. Let me get my calculator. Thank you. 0 0.385. You're running from your thousand there. Yeah. Cool. So far so good, I trust. Miss Flotus, what's the tangent ratio? What over what? No, the, the tangent. Remember Sokotoa? Look at tangent. T. Tangent is equal to what over what? Good. So here's R. What side is opposite to R? 12. Over adjacent to R. 5. Hit it, Miss uh, Perez. What is that? 1 point. 2 point. What? 2 point. 2 point. 2 point 2.24. Just exactly, huh? Yeah. Got it. 2.4. So far, so good. I'll stop. Any questions? So these ratios, I'll show you how powerful they are. Here we go. We're looking at angle S now. Here we are, angle S. The sine of angle S, Ms. Perez, is what over what? Good. Opposite over hypotenuse. 5 over 13 in this case. Opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, 5 over 13, we already did. I'm looking for those a cosine of R. 
Okay, so pi over 13 was closer than one, so that's going to be 0 0.385. Notice how it's the same as this. So the cosine of the other acute angle is the sine of the other acute angle. The cosine and the sine are the same for the different acute angles. How about cosine of s? Adjacent of 12 over hypotenuse is 13. We did 12 over 13 though, huh? That was a sine of the other angle. So the cosine of s ends up being the sine of r. So it saves us some time. 0 0.923. Cool. And last but not least, the tangent of s is opposite 5 over 12, which is the reciprocal of the other tangent. Huh? Look at it was 12 over 5, the reciprocal would be 5 over 12. This is a little FYI. What's 5 over 12 for us? One more time? Thank you. There's that ratio. Again, what these ratios mean, right now you have no clue. You're clueless of why these ratios are useful. Tomorrow, I will get into why these ratios are useful and explain that more. In the meantime, go ahead and grab your Chromebooks and work on some assignments before the bell rings.